Welcome back to Level Up Gaming. In today's video, we're going to be covering vendors and how to get the most out of them. So please make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. So one of the first ways we can ensure that we are going to get the most out of our vendors is by making it easy to find. So if you head up towards my front entrance, you should be able to see the vendor and it should be easy for most people to find and go straight onto. Also, as you are running down the main road here, heading towards the Wayward, you are easily going to see my vendor or you, from this perspective right here, you are going to see Vault Boy pointing at something and you are going to know straight away that tends to be where the vendor is so make sure it's lit up make sure you have it got it connected to power and it's nice and visible but also make sure it's easy to find and easy to be spotted this is one of the main things you guys should do straight away when you are building a vendor don't just leave it in a dark spot or make a trap area for someone to be running all the way around your house to be able to find it. You want to make sure it's nice and visible and it's not secluded. The only way you can't see my vendor is if you're approaching from this side over here. But most people, when they leave Vault 76, or if you travel to my camp anyway, will end up seeing it in this direction, which is perfect for me. So this is how I can get the most out of my vendor by making sure it has a good impact. Sign up first, location is everything. What you're going to do is make sure that you are near one of these areas. Vault 76, you've also got the crater and we've also got the Brotherhood of Steel area and we've also got Foundation. So these are four areas right here that are free to travel in. And this is going to be a way you can make some bank. You've also got the Rusty Pick, which is free as well. So people are going to travel to these areas. Obviously, we are going to get low levels that are in the forest area. But you guys are going to see a lot more traction because a lot more people come through this area. Just make sure if you guys are putting a camp in the forest that your prices ain't sky high because most uh, level of characters are going to be low and they ain't going to have a high amount of caps therefore they might not be picking up these expensive items one area that you guys might want to try and focus on is trying to do it near the rusty pick maybe foundation or near the brotherhood of steel or crater focus on them areas as more higher level people are going to go to these areas and if you guys have got some really desirable plans or desirable legendaries this is going to be where they're going to go the next thing we are going to look at is make sure that you have got most of your types of items ticked off so a lot of people shop for ammo junk plans and weapons some people shop for outfits as well so make sure you're trying to tick everyone's boxes some people have different items that they go around looking for and jumping from camp to camp so if we go over to this direction here for example i wouldn't travel to that one because they've only got 17 plans i'm a person that shops around for plans so i will be trying to look for someone with a high amount and if somebody hasn't got a high amount, I probably won't shop them. So really, if I just jumped into this world, I'll server hopping. I might only go to this one here or the one at the bottom there that has 51. But that's 52 caps. I've got a fast travel to that area. Very, very expensive. But you never know, I might pick up a deal. So this is what people are going to be looking at if they want to travel to your vendor. Bear that in mind. Make sure that your vendor is desirable. First piece of advice I can give you is when it comes to your weapons, don't list up grenades. You are wasting your vending slot. So I suggest that you guys always take them out and you're better off selling these to different vendors at train stations or anything you can find across the wasteland. Don't waste it by using vending slots. When it comes to legendaries, if this seems desirable to you, try and list it up and see if anybody buys it. It might be the fact that you've listed it a bit too expensive, so maybe lower the price after a day. And if it doesn't sell, then you can always get some script out of this by going to the Rusty Pick, which is perfect. You've also got a chance that somebody might buy this for 750 caps. I personally don't know. It looks very desirable to me, to be honest. I, this is something I might use if I'm setting up a certain build. But I don't know. I'm still trying to get the feel of what legendaries are going for at the current moment. Obviously, it sets you a value along the bottom. But normally, a good rule of thumb is trying to get this half of the price of their value that they are suggesting. Sometimes, people might not be picking them up at all. But another type of thing you can look for is the 
Nuka World um, events at the moment that are popping off, they are giving you different legendaries. And these are going to become very desirable once these events and the Nuka World is finished. Because not many people can get these weapons any longer and it might increase the price for sure. So I would heavily suggest that if you guys can, maybe keep one of each of these outfits. If it doesn't increase, well, you've got something for a collection that you can put up around your camp to make it look quite cool. The next thing that you guys might want to look at is your different outfits. You can have different outfits that are actually worth a lot of caps. And I do know one of these fireman sets are worth a lot. I'm not entirely sure. If you guys know, let me know down below. But I've listed mine up, hoping somebody comes across and just picks these up. But there's some things like this which have not many people have seen across the wasteland. So if they do want to come across and pick it up, then they can. If they're new people like me, they'll be picking it up for super cheap but you can get them for pretty much free if you guys explore the wasteland so always bear that in mind and we've also got a super low cost one for people to start collecting so like i said this is my camp is set up around vault 76 so people can pay one cap for them and i'm entirely happy because i'm making a little bit of profit for something i've found uh next thing guys guys you might want to look at is some items that make a lot of benefits for you so as you can see here you get a good amount of health for this nuka cola cranberry but you also get bonus xp so this for a short time period increases the xp that you get this has good value to me so therefore i've listed up for 170 caps hoping somebody picks them up because when you get to different variants of nuka colas they become much more desirable. So always be careful before you listen them up for super cheap because people might actually get a good deal out of you. Just go around, check other people's camps and see how much that they list them up for and list them up. And like I said, if they don't sell within a day or two, then I would suggest lowering your price. And another good thing you guys can look at is scrap. So there is loads of scrap that you pick up throughout the world, but there is some types of scrap that are extremely hard to get. So for example, if you guys are looking for loose screws, these are very, very hard to get. So if you guys ended up farming them, if this is how you want to make caps, you can farm them and you can make a lot of caps from junk itself. You've also got lead that's become much, much more desirable now. And you've got many other items that you can try and make some caps out of. Fiber optics and different types of stuff like that is another good one. Circuits, gears, so many things that you can go around the world and farm and list up in bulk and make yourself a decent amount of actual caps from. Next, we'll jump onto mods. And this is yet again another rule of thumb. Just try and lower the price, try and make it more desirable. Some places, actually, well, some vendors I've been to have got these extremely, extremely high. And for me personally, I wouldn't buy a mod unless it's something that's extremely desirable. But I wouldn't buy a mod because I'd always want to try and find a plan for this and try and put it in my own type of builds anyway. Because these mods aren't very great in my opinion. I might be wrong. Let me know down below what you think. But yeah. Also, people look at ammo. So if they're going to come visit your shop, they're looking at ammo. But yeah, again, bear in mind, if you are paying arm and a leg for ammo, are you going to go there and pick them up when you can go around and farm these and get the ammo for free? So when you are listing them up, don't list them up for the price it's trying to re recommend you. So these fusion center, uh, cells here are free caps. But if you go to many shops, they are listing them up for a cap. So I suggest that you guys do the same because if I sell all these fusion cells, I'm getting 107 you, um, 107 caps nice and easy another one that actually does make a lot of caps is fuel so a lot of people pick up fuel fuel actually flies and it bangs five millimeters also sell very very well and you've also got some different types of rounds that you guys might be able to shift on also so bear that in mind have a feel if they don't sell in your shop then get them out and find something else not everybody that comes to your shop is going to want to pick everything up so bear that in mind and sometimes you might join a world and it's dead so if you join a world and there's only you and another handful of players in then maybe they are not going to be picking up all of your items so don't do anything don't take them out don't lower the price just bear that in mind that the world has a low player base so therefore you ain't going to be getting visited in your shop very often 
So when you come to the point of impact of sale, you can see straight away that this guy has two shops. That's great. So that means two people can shop at once. And that is really, really good. Because sometimes you can lose out because you have two people come to your camp at one time. Only one can shop and the other one doesn't end up looking at it. They tend up going to different shop altogether. But when you come to these vending machines, you want to just check out the prices of these items. You can see here, this guy's got some silly prices for these serums. Very, very cheap. And if I was you guys, I would maybe jump on and head over to his camp and come and pick up some of these because they're really, really cheap. Um, but yeah, so just have a look. And some things like these comics, as you can see, their value, their base value is 400 caps. And this guy is selling them for 75 caps. Some people want to build a collection. And this means that they might want to pick these up. So if you guys do see them across the wasteland. And you haven't got any more space on your stand. Or displays for these type of items. Then maybe listing them up for around 200 caps would be my area. Or 100 caps between that. I'd, I wouldn't list it anything lower than that really. Um, and you guys might be able to make a massive amount of caps. Just from you exploring. And as you can also see. He has got a lot of cheap plans. Which is crazy. Because he has got some very good ones. That I know on in the uh, pool yet. Yeah, for loot. So you can see these alien tubes. I've seen them across different camps for around 3,000 caps, 4,000 caps. Very, very expensive. And he has got a lot of them that are very, very cheap. Also, you've got different things that I've personally not seen. Um, so, tattered curtains, I am sure that they are very, very rare drops. And I just haven't got enough at the current moment. But if I did, I'd be picking up a lot of this. Um, these are crazy cheap and you guys can jump over to different uh, worlds and go and visit all of these. And you might be able to actually make a lot of caps yourself just because you've been world hopping and been farming different plans. So if this guide has helped you, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.